the U.S. Navy has released a series of images showing Daily Bird class destroyer USS Decatur's close encounter in the South China Sea with the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's Typo 5 2 Seal Yuang 2 class destroyer Lanzhou. The images show just how dangerous the Chinese ship's maneuvering was, and how close the two vessels were to a potentially serious accident. G Captain was first to obtain the images, which showed Lanzu pulling close in front of Decatur, and then the two ships maneuvering apart. The images are likely to be still captures taken from the video feed, from the sensor turret on the American destroyer's MH-60RC Hawk helicopter, or an in such a drone launched from Decatur. In its official statement, the Navy said the Chinese ship, which it initially identified only as a Yuan class vessel, came within 45 yards of the American destroyer during the incident on Sept 30, 2018. This might sound like a plentiful amount of space between the two ships, but for vessels displacing thousands of tons, and which are relatively slow maneuvering, it is too close for comfort. Just for perspective, 45 yards is less than one-third of a ship length for Decatur. In 2017, two of the Navy's early Burke-class destroyers suffered separate collisions in the Western Pacific region, causing horrendous damage to the vessels and more importantly, the loss of multiple sailors' lives. After the Navy revealed the South China Sea incident had occurred, China's foreign ministry responded by saying, that Decatur had been in violation of their indisputable sovereignty in the area around Gabon Reefs, in the disputed South China Sea. We strongly urge the U.S. side to immediately correct its mistake, and stop such provocative actions to avoid undermining China-U.S. relations, and regional peace and stability, the statement continued. The images show that the Lancer was the one responsible for the proactive actions. The Navy says that it remained 12 miles away from the actual Chinese-occupied man-made outpost on the reef. The Cater had been in the area specifically to conduct the so-called Freedom of Navigation Operation Patrol, or FNOP, which the United States performs in protest to China's broad claims of ownership of the vast majority of the South China Sea.